This mask in papier mache represents a sun with its rays and the atmosphere that surrounds it. Have you ever wondered why the sun has rays and the moon hasn't? In ancient times, people thought that the pain and prickling that the sun caused when burning your skin was caused by arrows that were shot from the sun onto mankind. Perhaps not everybody knows that the Egyptian obelisks that were brought to Rome in great number represented the rays of the sun, as they were temples dedicated to Helios, the sun god. So, this reproduction of the sun and its rays, one straight and one curved, is taken from a model that was very common from medieval right up to neoclassical times. The sun was represented in different situations, in cathedral clock faces, in clock towers and town halls, and even clock hour hands often had the image of a sun. And the sun has often appeared, together with the moon, both in sacred and profane celebrations to represent day and night. Most of the time it's shown in the round, as a sphere, with one ray pointing in one direction and the next pointing in another. This sun mask in particular had a starring role in the movies, as it appeared in the film Eyes Wide Shut by Stanley Kubrick. A man who had a prominent close-up was wearing it in the scene of the orgy where Tom Cruise wanders around before being chased away. This sun is one of the four masks that are prominent in the film. It was bought by Stanley Kubrick's art directors when they came to my shop in 1997.